welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about what's in my bag for a weekender edition, which features the Daisy Rose tote. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is the bag that I'm carrying for a weekend trip or a camping trip. So you can see here, this is kind of, this is not my luggage. This is more of a handheld carry-on luggage, if you will. So there's no clothing in here. It's mainly my laptops, my essentials, where, where I put my most used stuff without my luggage, which is my clothing and my shoes. So let's jump right in. So you are probably familiar with this bag already. This is the Walmart Daisy Rose uh, tote bag that is really, really popular right now. Uh, I'm gonna link a link down below. This is really, really handy. I like how it's inspired by the Louis Vuitton Neverfull and it fits a lot as you can see. So let's get started with the very top. So in here, I have a couple of pink items. This is a Ted Baker makeup case, a wash bag. And this is also a Ted Baker pencil case. So let's get into these two things briefly. This one, I have my makeup, mainly my makeup, my skincare in it. And I have a Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I think this is one of the holiday palettes from a long time ago, but I'm still using it. And it's pretty dirty right now. And also some of my foundations. Um, also, I have this little bottle for um, the Fayers. Is it Fayers? Fayers rose water in here. I also have this uh, Dr. Jart um, SPF for Tiger Grass color correcting treatment. So I use this from time to time. I don't really like it too much because um, it has an oily texture to it. So in a couple of lipsticks, um, a Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, um, and an Estee Lauder, I don't know what, but it's a pretty color. I don't know, I got it from the gift box, so it's called Powerful in Color Envy. So yeah, that's, that's basically it in my, this gigantic bag, most of this is just random junk. And this one is where I keep my makeup brushes. These are all my makeup brushes. And you can see I have a couple unicorn ones that are really, really pretty. So they look like um, ice cream swirls on the handle. And the brush part is pink. So I'll try to see if I can find those um, in the description box. I remember I bought them in China, but maybe Shein or AliExpress has them too, or something similar. And I also got the same collection, a little angle brush. I, I like this for my foundation and also for my highlighter. So it has um, this uh, shape to it. And the handle is also like this pearlescent color, the same as these two. And, and also this one, I think these two are from Eco Tools, Eco Tools, and they're really soft brushes. I like these two end brushes because it saves me some space. It's two in one, so I like them for traveling. And in this little pencil case, I also have a couple cotton pads just to line the pencil case a little bit so the brush heads, when they're dirty, it doesn't uh, dirty up the insides of the back uh, too much. So this. Those are that. And the next one, another, also another pen case. This is my travel jewelry case. Um, I also have, I actually have a whole set of this. Um, I'll link it down below. This comes with a bigger jewelry case and it's can, it comes in a set. So the bigger one, you can put it in your home and store your main jewelry. And this one you can take with you when you're traveling. It's kind of nice because it's a whole set and it's very well contained with the snap closure. So what I have in here is um, a little mirror, of course. So there's this little mirror, so you can look at yourself when you get ready. <laughs> and there's um, the Kendra Scott earrings that I got for Valentine's Day. 
So I think they were the April, um, April collection or the, um, the aqua stone collection. I really like this blue color. It's very, very clear and crisp and very different. And I also have a Tiffany classic Tiffany bracelet in this one. It's a pink heart uh, charm. I got this a long time ago. I really like it. Um, it is very hard wearing and durable. I just need to polish it from time to time. So this is my go-to bracelet. And also, next, oh, they're tangled up. Pretty well. This is, um, this is a pearl necklace. And you can see, um, this is real pearl and real, uh, almost perfect round pearls, very bright and pearlescent. Um, I don't think I can link this to the store, but um, you can probably find pearl necklaces a lot of places. I, what I like is this is a choker length, so this is not that long. So it looks younger when you wear it because pearls sometimes ages people. And it also has this um, infinity clasp right here. So it is very, very um, luxurious and elegant when you wear this. So I like that. And also this is another Tiffany heart charm bracelet. Um, it has a double chain in it, so it's more sturdy. And this is a, also a classic piece for Tiffany silverware. And those are my jewelry collection. And you can see that I usually put my rings in these slots when I like go to shower and take off my jewelry. And I put my earrings here, they're earring slots. You can just like snap them on. And I just close this and I, can, I don't need to worry about it flopping out. Nothing comes out of here. And it's a hard shell case. It's, everything's really, really well protected. That's why I really like this case and I bring it everywhere when I travel. And let's get into the next pouch. There's a lot of stuff to go through. So the next pouch, this is a Sephora pouch that I got some time ago. And here I have a pink um, eye mask from Slip Silk. This is a very, very comfortable sleep mask, like really, really soft. The only downside is it's not blocking the light enough. So if you want dark cow effects, this is not going to do it because light still shines through, but it's just very, very comfortable on the eyes. It's kind of dirty right now because I use it so much for traveling and different flights. So I probably need to clean this up. I try to keep it in this pouch so it doesn't get dirty. And in here, I also have some pandemic, <laughs> pandemic essentials, some uh, latex gloves, some, some wiper cloths. Um, these are still clean, by the way. So I, I put them here for like um, spare purposes and keep them here. Also, if you're a dog mom, doggy bags. I got some doggy bag here in case accidents happen. And now you can kind of see a clear um, inside of the bag. Um, you can see I have two laptops in here. So I usually only carry one, but this trip was really special. I probably, I was needing to work and use my computer uh, my personal computer at the same time. So that's why I fit two laptops in here. As you can see, this bag is a workhorse. It can fit both of my laptops perfectly snugly in here with the bag organizer. And I will link the bag organizer down below because it is really helpful in terms of how to uh, stack two computers separately. They kind of uh, stand in one side of the bag. Um, each stands on one side of the bag. So they don't touch each other. They don't flop around when I do this. So it really places the laptops um, very ingeniously and kind of utilizes the space very well and get them protected at the same time because this kind of adds the padding. So I don't really need a laptop sleeve. I just put them in here. They, they're really snugly fitted. And because of the in, uh, middle compartment, they're spaced apart and I don't need to worry about them touching each other. Also, one little hack when I put my laptops in my tote, I like to put the air vents. You can see the air vents are usually um, on the bottom of your laptop. The air vents kind of like this, so they are kind of poking out. You see what I mean? Sorry, my camera just died, so let's continue with the video, the rest of the what's in my bag. 
so you can see there's two laptops here and they really fit very snugly because of the back organizer structure you can kind of get two pockets in the middle so they don't touch each other they don't move around they stand very very so you can see i cannot i need some tugging to get them out so this is my 14 inch laptop for work and here is my personal macbook for my personal computing and you can continue seeing here um, there's two little books on the side that I put in uh, these are national passports like these and I can get my stamps when I'm visiting international sorry national parks um, I love to get those stamps and it's a collection hobby of mine and you can see the back organizer kind of folds in in here so I can easily fit a Bath and Body Works spray in here. I have the magic in the air. It smells very nice. And the next one, this is my wallet. This is my full size wallet. And I bring this with me usually when I travel and it fits all my cards, all my cards that I need, my medical and everything. And in this side, I have my personal agenda. This agenda, I um, I like a smaller agenda because I can fit it in my other smaller purses and I really don't need that big of space to write. I need more items, but not a uh, big space. So I really enjoy this size. Um, the next one is this small trifold wallet. Uh, this is a Louis Vuitton Victory dupe from Shein. I'm gonna link this down below. This is a very good quality wallet, even though this is not real leather. And this is very compact. Usually when I don't want to bring my big wallet, I will put a couple cards in this one and I'll bring this to go. And next, in the middle compartment, I have my sunglasses from Costco. So this is a very great, uh, good quality, good bang for your buck kind of the sunglasses. It's very comfortable, it filters out a lot of lights and it is very good quality. And the last compartment here, I have my sunscreen and my lipstick. So this is a Shiseido sunscreen. This is a sunscreen that I've used for years and um, I am still using it. I'm a long-term fan. And here is the Guerlain lipstick that I have. I don't remember the name of this lipstick, but it opens up like this and it has a little mirror and the tube, you can buy the tube and the mirror separately. They have multiple designs of this tube um, hosing, mirror hosing. I believe they have rose gold, silver, maybe a diamond or crystallized or some, sometimes a leather, a leather embossed um, design. They have fancy, really fancy, luxurious designs for the case. And you can buy your lipstick and kind of just put it in and switch out your case. And I really like this. And next, you can see that my bag is pretty much empty now and with just the bag organizer. And here is my pouch uh, for that comes with the Daisy Rose tote. And in here, I have two used face masks. So whenever I use up my face mask, I put this in, I put those in this bag. So it's concealed away and it's not contaminating other stuff in my bag. And also in this tiny compartment in the bag organizer, I have a couple pins, hair pins, just in case I need them from time to time. I have them ready for me tucked inside. So yeah, that's all in my bag. I should also mention that I'm using a GM, Neverfold GM organizer for an MM size bag. And you can see that it totally works because the sides fold in and it fits both of my on-the-go GM tote and also the this, uh, I guess, Louis Vuitton Neverfold dupe bag in the MM size.
organizers. So it is really great that I can use one bag organizer in two. If you have two different sizes of bag, I re highly recommend you get bag organizers that looks like this, that folds in on the sides, so you can fit in a smaller purse if you want to. So yeah, overall, I really like this bag. It stands up really, really well. Um, it is still looks brand new and it is such a workhorse. I put so many, so many things in it. But yeah, I really like this one. If you are thinking about it, you should totally get it because of the price point. Okay, thank you for watching and let me know if you like this video or not. Give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.